Hi ladies. Okay, so as promised, I just I um am going to do some research into comparing our 3D fiber lash mascara. Um if you haven't seen it before and tried it, you're all crazy. Um this is the mascara. Two little tubes. One is um the smaller one, which is our natural um green tea fibers, and the bigger tube is the um black transplanting gel. So I'll show you how to pop that on as well today. A little instruction instruction um, guide on how to put it on. Not that you need it because it's super, super easy. And I'm going to be comparing that today with this, who makes it? Maybelline Great Lash Waterproof. I can't believe I'm going to pop this on my eyes, but anyway. Excuse my face, I've just thrown on some quick thing of foundation, but that is all I have on. Okay. So, um, I am I really don't want to put this on my eyelashes. Um, I've read the ingredients, and there are at least four ingredients in this mascara, um, three of which end with paraben. It, look it up. It's a carcinogenic ingredient. Um, it is not good. So... Please, when you're choosing a mascara, have a look at the ingredients and um, just be aware of of what you're putting on your face, on your eyes. Anyway, I will be washing this off as soon as I've done this. Hence why I haven't bothered with too much makeup. Okay, so the, in the instructions on this said, For best results, sweep brush from roots to tip of lashes, continue building until the desired lash look is achieved do not let dry between coats okay so here goes let's have a look at it okay for starters there doesn't really seem to be much on the brush but hey okay Sorry if the light isn't all that good. But, oh, the sun just came out and it's shining right in my eyes. Sorry. Where are the clouds? That's crazy. Okay, we're not going to see anything for a bit. <laughs> this is what happens when you end up... I'm getting quite a bit of coats on here. And I'm not allowed to dry, like I can't let it dry between coats, so I've just got to keep doing this. It smells revolting. It really does. And I I can't seem to get any more length than than that, which oh my gosh, the sun. I can't even see that I've got it on. But anyway, let's give it a look at the light. And it's not too clumpy. But I'm going to give it. I'm not sure if you can see it yet. Hopefully, that sun goes away. Okay, this is this is the third coat. So I've dipped oh my gosh and I just got it all over my eyelid. This is like the third coat of of this stuff and I really am not getting any length. It's they're getting fuller and I've got a little bit of length. But not as much as I would like. Okay, so that is that is three really good coats of this. I mean, I can tell I've got it on just, but it's three coats of that great lash. All right. So the three D five lash. Yes, I'm biased. I love this stuff. I've been using it for twelve months. But that's why I wanted to try these other mascaras that you guys are using and and compare them. See if I'm crazy or something. Um, and just show you how good our 
mascara is. Sorry, I'm just cleaning my mirror. Okay, so doing it, putting this mascara on and holding a compact is a little bit more trickier, but you, I don't usually put my mascara on holding a compact. Um, so this is two new tubes. The gel. Like the Great Lash. It doesn't look like there's a lot on there. Okay. And then you've got your fibers in the smaller tube. Like that. Okay, so let's go with getting this gel. And so the, in, the old instructions used to say you could apply, um, you know, your regular mascara. You don't need to do this. And I don't because I don't like other mascaras. They are full of ingredients that I do not want on my lashes. So that's just a really, 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 really thin coat. Let's see if I can get out of this horrible light. A really thin coat of gel, which I'm just going to let sit just for a few seconds. Give it a try. Usually, um, when I'm in a rush, I use my hair dryer to dry my lashes. Okay. So that's just a real thin coat. So now I'm going to put a nice coat as if it was one coat of normal mascara. Okay. Covering all my lashes. And already just with that gel it looks better than the Great Lash. In my opinion. Okay, now I'm going to put the fibres on. And I am so so messy at putting mascara on and I'm trying to apply these kind of mid lash and tips and I'm getting everywhere because I have sun shining right in my eyes okay so that is the, can you see that I've got it everywhere? I am so messy at this. I can just see you guys just sitting there laughing at me. Sorry about the light. This light is horrible. And so this is kind of going to be like the, oh, that sun is awful. It's going to be like the second coat of mascara, I guess. And the sun is like shining right in my eyes and I cannot get away from it. But what I'm going to do once I've got this on is go and shut that light, that blind behind me, in front of me. Okay, two seconds, just so that you guys can see the result. blind all right so I don't know if you can see the difference between these two I've put it on with the Sun in my eyes so I've got it all over me more than usual but great lash 3d one coat right great lash 3D. This is not a very good um, camera to be using, but can you see the difference? So, with this Great Lash, I'm going to try this. With the Great Lash, it says that I shouldn't be applying um, any more um, coats once I've let it dry. Let's see what it does if I do. It's, I mean, it's not hurting it. It doesn't seem to be doing too much. I feel like I can't get anything on my brush, but I'm sure I am. Okay. So this is 
like five coats now and it is kind of getting a bit clumpy well not clumpy but full fuller than I'd like I guess you can kind of see it now but it's not getting really getting any longer so that was like three coats of um, Great Lash on there now I'm going to go back and pot another lot of 3D Fiber Lash Oh my gosh, I am so messy. And I'm just applying the fibers to the tips. Well, at least trying to. Am I losing the. You can see all the. Oh my gosh, I've got it everywhere. I'm so messy. I've got it all over my fingers. Okay, let's have a little bit of a tidy up. But can you see the difference? That is amazing. And let's just pot that last gel coat on. So I have got two coats of 3D Fiber Lash Mascara on. Love this stuff. And I've got effectively the equivalent of Great Lash on the eye. And I don't know about you guys, but I can definitely see the difference. Um, so we look at price. Um, Yep, this cost me $15 on special today, I think it was. And this cost me $40. So yes, definitely more expensive. Um, cheaper, but you get what you pay for as far as I'm concerned. I have got, uh, not got great lashes with, with the um, great lash. Um, they're both waterproof. Uh... This one's full of toxic ingredients. This is fairly natural, fairly natural product. The uh, result in the length of my lashes speak for themselves, I believe. I'm going to take some photos and post them as well, just in case you can't really see. But that is the difference, all right? Well, it's up to you guys to decide. I'm throwing that great lashes out because that is just awful. It doesn't do anything um, and it's toxic and I'm getting it off my eyelashes quick smart. I hope this um, helped any of you kind of make a decision to perhaps try the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. Um, if you want to try the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara, um, let me know or you can visit www. Um, lashesnaturallynz.com and order your 3D Fiber Lash Mascara there um, or send me a message and I'd like to hear your feedback and what you think that would be awesome